Unfortunately, there are many people that they are afraid of many different reactions, so they sugarcoat the situation. You know, I was now, not now, but a year ago, I was in Los Angeles. And I gave a lecture there. It was a very big crowd of people. And in this lecture, I was talking about Shabbat. And I don't even know in what part it came, but I said, you're not allowed to drive to Shul on Shabbat. That's desecrating Shabbat. Hashem, rather you stay at home and not drive and pray by yourself than driving to Shul. Comes to me an old man in his 60s at the end of the lecture and he's crying. And he, tell me, and he tells me, thank you. I said, Lord, thank you for making you cry. He's like, 25 years I drive to Shul on Shabbat. Not one rabbi told me I'm not allowed to drive to Shul on Shabbat. They always welcomed me. They always told me, we hope to see you. Nobody told me, listen. You're not allowed to drive. We want you to come to Shul. Sleep on my couch. Take a hotel room. But don't drive to Shul on Shabbat. And he told me, you know, nobody told me that. 25 years. I'm driving to Shul on Shabbat, and nobody had the courage to tell me I'm not allowed to. If somebody was to tell me, listen, you're not allowed to. That's desecrating Shabbat. You're making it like a, kind of mocking the situation. You, you, you're desecrating Shabbat from here into showing up in Shul. And he... What? No, he was a simple man. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I, I don't know the financial uh, situation of the, the synagogue. The point is, it doesn't matter right now if he's a donor or not. I don't want to Shalom say anything bad about anybody. He told me, listen, nobody told me. So it doesn't matter if he's a donor or not. What matters is that nobody had the courage to come and tell him, sir, dear Jew, I love you. I want you to come and pray with me. If you live 25 miles away, please don't come to my shul. Or sleep in my home. Or I'll rent a hotel room. Or whatever. So the problem is that it depends where the message comes from. For example, I am not allowed to invite somebody for my Shabbat meal if I know they're going to drive to my Shabbat meal. I'm not allowed to do that. I'm allowed to say, we have a Shabbat meal at 7 o'clock. It's open to the public. We have beautiful, beautiful, great food. Everybody's welcome. That's what I'm allowed to say. I can't tell the person, do you want to come for my Shabbat meal knowing that he's going to drive? I'm not allowed to do such a thing. Now, if I say it with this long beard, please come, then I have a problem here. Because I'm basically telling him, in other words, it's okay, you can drive. And under no circumstances distort the Torah. Especially when you look like this. If you look at like this, there's no, there's no even place to even distort the Torah. Because somebody can derive something out of your words and say, yeah, but that rabbi told me it's okay. 